Hey guys and welcome back to the channel or if you were new here, hello and welcome my name is Anita and I upload mainly Animal Crossing content here on YouTube and if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's get on into the video. So today we are building the start of the town, like a little town area with shops, maybe a little restaurant place i don't know uh, we're gonna see where it takes us but today we are building a plant shop and an ice cream parlor and there's a lot of terraforming in this and i mean a lot i build up so much cliff today and also we do some waterscaping which really takes up a lot of the video um <laughs> but it's all worth it in the end and i think a lot of my island is going to be on the second level of cliffs just because I don't know I think it just adds a little bit of depth to the island as well having like the middle section of your island built up so we shall see where building takes us I don't really plan any of the builds out in much detail I'll plan roughly what I want in the area and maybe the pathway and where that goes normally gets planned out but apart from that, what we build is just what we do and what I decide just before filming. So yeah, I never really plan out this island. <laughs> it's going well so far. Um, I have an idea for the residence area, which will be at the back of this build. This will lead onto one of many residential areas. I just need to unlock the outside customization for your island villagers so that I can make all of the houses the same. Maybe with one or two differences, I haven't decided yet, but it would be really nice to have it quite uniform and all matchy matchy. we're just going to connect the sea to the waterfall so one thing about building cliffs that I don't really like especially when they're in the middle of your island is the fact that if you build a cliff you can't really build behind it or it seems pointless to actually build behind it because you can't see it so I've decided to put the river behind because when you are in the area you will see the edge of the water without having to worry about what's like right behind that cliff and I just really like how this turned out in the end and I love that clothing line knit ables as well. So now we're just going to place the pathway down, it's going to be a bit of a crossroads junction kind of area here. We're going to put the fountain down so that I can kind of work around it but Peck decided that he was going to yell at me from behind resident services all for ikimono stand which I decided was nice anyway because I can give that to my boyfriend for his Japanese style island so it wasn't too much of a waste of time talking to Peck he's also really cute so we're going back to planning out this little fountain area I was struggling with this because I wanted to leave room for trees but also I wanted there to be a substantial amount of pathway to get round. I didn't want to have to like edge round the fountain. But we decided with a bit of a square in the end and I'm just gonna put my little custom designs on top. But then I kind of changed my mind about the left side. I didn't want it to be mirrored if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna erase this and just change it up a little bit. I'm still in love with the way this path looks once all of the custom designs are down. It's so simple but yet it works really well for Daisy Bay. And I just love this little daisy pattern that I managed to find as well. So, so cute. This is definitely a very overgrown pathway if I have ever seen one. So I decided to pick up the fountain and put some custom designs underneath just in case any of them kind of popped out from underneath at least then it's not just empty under there and you know it as well just a few more finishing touches 
a lot more finishing touches. We're going to add some fence down now and some trees, a bit more fence and a few bushes. And then we're going to start working on our little building. So I was going to do it too panels across can I call these panels I don't know these church wall thingies <laughs> so they, I did put two down going across but then I decided that I was gonna make this a little bit larger on the right side of the building just so that I could place some stalls and things like that and here I am just still trying to figure it out put the shop fronts down, throw some benches down as well because why not? And then I'm just going to place these stalls. So these stalls do change eventually. I was just testing out the layout and the space that I had. I really love this bonsai shelf as well. I think I found it on a treasure island but I'm not quite sure. We're going to put the little bell machine, the ATM down. If you have shops, you need the ATM. You can't go shopping without having money. We're just gonna place some tiles down now. This is the same tile pathway that I use outside Abel's and it's also outside Nook's Cranny now as well because I just love it and I love the way it looks outside of the shop. So I'm just trying to decide what to do here. It's pretty obvious I'm stuck or I'm struggling with thoughts but we kind of get there in the end and we're going to remove these storefronts as well because I just want to make sure the tiles go all the way under and it's seamless up to the building so that's why I removed the storefronts. Place this really pretty pattern down. I would love this in my house. That would look so cute in my kitchen or even in the back garden. I mean, can I have this design please? Pop down the stall and the bonsai shelf which moves because I decided against where I put it originally. And um, we're gonna put this floating biome, biome sphere pot thing here. And then I'm just gonna fill in the river. I decided I was being a little bit ambitious with the lack of cliff that I built, so we need more because this video doesn't have enough already. I mean. <laughs> so we're just going to extend it so that we can build the ice cream parlor and at least get one building complete for this video and for this build. There's a lot of hard work in this landscaping. I'm surprised my little character doesn't have muscles of like steel. <laughs> oh, the shoveling of the spade. We finally make it up on here and I'm just going to build a third layer in the middle of this kind of building just to create a bit more height I guess and we're going to put some stalls, not stalls sorry, the shop fronts at the top, the storefront, we're going to put some storefronts at the top just to create another little bit of like layer to this building we're making, pop in the castle side wall, I think it is the castle wall. And we're going to place some of my favourite paving down. Look at that go. And some steps just to give it a little bit of something something on the side. And then we're just going to pop a lot of items in, in a blink of an eye. Uh, we have the ice cream little counter, some fences, a stall and the plastic outdoor table because I think that screams ice cream shop especially in the UK. We, we have plastic tables and chairs like that outside a lot of ice cream shops. We're gonna add the hedge at the side and there's also like the little planter on the other side just to create a boundary so that you have to go up the stairs. And then I am just gonna extend the pathway a little bit more. 
add my custom designs on because it's not Daisy Bay without having daisies on the floor or giant stones that you, you could seriously do some damage to your toe with. Add the side of the building and a column just to take away from that corner and to stop people from getting down the side of it as well. And we're just going to work on the river a little bit more because I have a bridge to put down. We're putting a bridge down people. That's why we're waterscaping yet again. So this river is very interestingly shaped, I'm not going to lie, but it works. We're going to put some trees down, another lamppost because you can't have a little town area without a lamppost. This bike is so cute, it is a must, but it really grinds my gears when I'm trying to place this bike because it stands upon its own which is really cute but I love to have it look like it's leaning against a tree and just the shape of it is really difficult. I'm just going to finish off behind the building and on this left side just so that it's finished and we can tick that off, the, t the back of the building's done. Add a tree. We're just going to shape the river so that nobody can sneak behind the building and then I'm going to pop a column in and another tree and it's time for the plant sale sign. How cute is that? It's so so cute and we also have the ice cream shop sign which matches the colour theme and we're just going to fix up this little empty area here, add the flowers. A manhole cover and a few other bits and bobs. I thought the bubble machine would be so cute outside the ice cream parlour. And I know you agree with me. Look at it. It just gives it a really cute fun vibe to this already cute and fun area. And here we are. We are done. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys